हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी डिस्कस अबाउट जीरो लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स फर्स्ट लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स एंड सेकंड लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स फर्स्ट वी सी व्हाट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जीरो लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स सो टू अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ जीरो लॉ ऑफ थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स वी टेक वन एग्जाम्पल फॉर एग्जाम्पल हियर वी कंसिडर थ्री पर्सन फॉर एग्जाम्पल पर्सन ए पर्सन बी एंड पर्सन सी फॉर एग्जाम्पल रिलेशन बिटवीन ए एंड सी दैट आर सिस्टर and relation between b and c they are also sister so you easily identify what is the relation between a and b if a and c are sister b and c are sister then automatically a and b are also sister so this is the concept of zero law of thermodynamics for example a and c are in thermal equilibrium and b and c are in thermal equilibrium separately then system a and system b are also in thermal equilibrium according to zero law of thermodynamics so first you write statement of zero law of thermodynamics if two systems are each in thermal equilibrium with a third system they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other or you can write two system in thermal equilibrium with a third system separately for example here two system that is system a and system c are in thermal equilibrium and system b and system c are in thermal equilibrium separately then they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other means here system a and system b are also in thermal equilibrium according to zero law of thermodynamics so here one question arises what is the meaning of thermal equilibrium what is the meaning of thermal equilibrium so meaning of thermal equilibrium is that equality of temperature to understand the concept of thermal equilibrium here we consider two system system a and system b for example system a has 50 degree celsius temperature and system b has 30 degree celsius temperature and these two systems are perfectly insulated from the surrounding if these two systems both in good contact then the energy in the form of heat will transfer from the body at a higher temperature to the body at the lower temperature in our case body a has higher temperature that is 50 degree celsius so heat will be transferred from the system a to the system b and after some times you observe that system a and b will approach a state at which no further change is observed and the two systems are in a state of thermal equilibrium at this point the two systems are said to be at the same temperature so simple meaning of thermal equilibrium is that the temperature of the two systems are equal so now we taking one example to understand the concept of zero law of thermodynamics here imagine two systems system a and system b separated by an adiabatic pole and these two system system a and b each in contact with a third system c via conducting wall so here one question is that what is adiabatic wall and conducting wall so adiabatic wall means an insulating wall insulating wall means that does not allow flow of energy from one to another and what is the meaning of diathermic wall that is conducting wall conducting wall means allow energy from one to another system so here a and b are separated by an adiabatic wall and these two systems each in contact with a third system c via conducting wall that's why heat will transfer from the body at a higher temperature to the body at the lower temperature and states of the systems will change until both a and b come to thermal equilibrium with a third system c what is the meaning of thermal equilibrium thermal equilibrium means equality of temperature after thermal equilibrium suppose that the adiabatic wall between a and b replaced by an conducting wall here in second figure you see that adiabatic wall is replaced by an conducting wall between a and b and c is insulated from the system a and b via adiabatic wall you observe that state of a and b change no further means they are found to be in thermal equilibrium according to zero law of thermodynamics this observation forms the basis of zero law of thermodynamics so zero law of thermodynamics states that if two system system a and system b 
are in thermal equilibrium with a third system separately. Then these two system A and B are also in thermal equilibrium according to zeroth law of thermodynamics. Next question is what is first law of thermodynamics? First law of thermodynamics is basically a law of conservation of energy. Law of conservation of energy states that energy can neither be created nor destroyed but only converted from one form to another form. So first law of thermodynamics is basically a statement of law of conservation of energy. And equation for the first law of thermodynamics that is delta Q is equal to delta U plus delta W. Here we consider one system and if we supply energy to the system this energy goes partially to increase the internal energy of the system and rest in work done on the environment so what is the internal energy of the system so internal energy of the system that is delta u is equal to q minus w you also write this equation as delta q is equal to delta u plus delta w where delta q is equal to heat supplied to the system by the surroundings delta u is equal to change in internal energy of the system and delta w is equal to work done by the system on the surrounding so first law of thermodynamics is basically a statement of law of conservation of energy that states that energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but only converted from one form to another form an equation for first law of thermodynamics that is delta q is equal to delta u plus delta w next is what is second law of thermodynamics in second law of thermodynamics there are two statement kelvin planck statement and clausius statement kelvin planck statement states that no process is possible whose sole result is the absorption of heat from a reservoir and the complete conversion of heat into work in simple words, you can say that no heat engine can have a 100% efficiency. So here, if we consider one heat source at temperature T1 and there is a one cyclic process and if we supplied heat to this cyclic process that is for example 100 kJ and if the work done is 100 kJ, so that is satisfying only first law of thermodynamics and violating second law of thermodynamics because according to second law of thermodynamics there is no possibility of complete conversion of heat into work so this is not possible so here take one example of heat engine here there are two reservoir hot and cold at temperature t1 and t2 respectively or you can say that there is a one heat source at temperature t1 and heat sink at temperature t2 and if we supplied heat to this heat engine for example this heat supplied to this heat engine that is 100 kJ so according to second law of thermodynamics there must be some amount of heat rejected to the heat sink at temperature t2 so heat rejected for example q2 is equal to 60 kJ so work done by this heat engine that is heat supplied minus heat rejected so 100 minus 60 is equal to 40 kJ so we can say that no heat engine can have a 100 percentage efficiency and complete conversion of heat into work is not possible according to Kelvin Planck statement second statement is closure statement and closure statement states that no process is possible whose sole result is the transfer of heat from a colder object to a hotter object in simple words you can say that heat cannot flow itself from a colder body to a hotter body because we know that heat transfer always takes place from higher temperature to lower temperature so here heat cannot flow itself from colder body to a hotter body and it can flow only when some external work is supplied to it for example in refrigeration system because in refrigeration system uh, heat is transferred from lower temperature to higher temperature but for that some external work is supplied to it so here we take example for heat pump and refrigeration system in refrigeration system heat supplied from lower temperature to higher temperature so here from heat sink heat supplied to the refrigeration system that is q2 is equal to 60 kJ but according to second law of thermodynamics there must be 
some external work is supplied to it for heat can flow from colder object to hotter object or, or you can say that from lower temperature to higher temperature so here some external work done on this refrigeration system or you can say heat pump so w net that is 40 kilojoule so total heat supplied that is q1 is equal to 100 kilojoule so according to this statement heat cannot flow itself from a colder body to a hotter body and it can flow only when some external work is supplied to it for example in refrigeration system next we see that third law of thermodynamics so third law of thermodynamics states that limit t tends to zero entropy s is equal to zero t means absolute temperature t tends to zero means absolute temperature approaches to zero so the statement of third law of thermodynamics that is the entropy of any pure substance in thermodynamic equilibrium approaches to zero as the absolute temperature approaches to zero again i repeat the entropy of any pure substance in thermodynamic equilibrium approaches to zero as the absolute temperature approaches to zero so this is the third law of thermodynamics thank you